Now we can do a GRE quantitative comparison question that only 40% of the people got right when they took it on an official GRE test. We're given a triangle with one length of 12 and another length of 20 and a right angle down at P. And we're told the area of triangle PQS is 45. And we're asked to compare two quantities. Column A is the length of segment PS and column B is the length of segment SR. The first mistake that a lot of people probably made is not reading the question carefully. The question tells us that the area of triangle PQS is 45, not triangle PQR. We're looking for the smaller triangle to begin with. The area is the two-dimensional space inside the triangle, and the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, so this equals 45. Since we have a right angle at P, and PQ equals 12, that means the height of our triangle is 12 in the formula. One way we can simplify our arithmetic is to divide the fraction by 2 so that base times 6 equals 45. Then we can divide both sides by 6 so that we realize that on the right-hand side we have 7.5, which is equal to the base. The base of our triangle is 7.5, and that's line segment PS, which is what column A asks us, and now we have to look for column B, the length of segment SR. Line segment SR is part of our big triangle PQR. Since we have a right angle at P, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which means that PQ squared plus PR squared equals QR squared. So we know that 12 squared plus PR squared equals 20 squared. A little arithmetic tells us that 144 plus PR squared equals 400. And if we subtract 144 from both sides, we then get PR squared equals 256, which means that PR equals 16. If we know that PR equals 16, and 7.5 is part of it, then the rest of it is 8.5. Now we're ready for our answer. Column A is 7.5, column B is 8.5, and we know that the right answer is B, quantity in B is larger. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985. No one makes things easier.